Hello guys, what's up? So this is Cameron from AC Productions YouTube, you know. Um, so I'm making a video tutorial. This is the first video tutorial I've ever made. Actually, I think I've made some, never uploaded them. This will be the first one on my channel. Um, so I wanted to make a video tutorial. You know, first video tutorial, what I make it about. Well, most of my movies are like gunfights, shooting, and, or, you know, that's what's popular, you know. There's lots of that kind of stuff. And to get started, I was just going to do a simple effect how to do a muzzle flash. Muzzle flash. But not just the muzzle flash. How to do a realistic looking complex muzzle flash. So, that's just going to be my intro. And later on, if I keep doing this sort of stuff, I'll go more into detail. Or not, I'm going to try and go into lots of detail in this muzzle flash. I'm going to show you how to do blowback and all that. But, if I keep doing it, I could, doing these tutorials, I could show you how to make realistic blood. How to, I could teach you lots of stuff, alright? Just leave me a comment in the comments and tell me what you want to do. You know, I'm new to the tutorials, so just tell me what you want. I could do After Effects, Final Cut Pro, Photoshop, Cinema 4D, you know, all that stuff. Just teach, just, just leave me a comment and I'll show you. Alright guys, so first thing you want to do, go to Google Images, search Muzzle Flash. Um, what I usually use is this thing from Video Copilot. It's called the Action Essentials Pack 2. They have tons of great muzzle flashes and stuff. But if you're new to this, just go to Google Images and find a muzzle flash. You want to find one with the black background. <coughs> um, just find a good one. Alright, so once you find the one you want to use, just drag it onto the comp. Um, I'm using one from what I was telling you about the Action, Action Essentials 2 pack I was uh, telling you about. Um, but you can find, you can try and find a good one on Google or search up for sto uh, stock footage packs. Then you can find them. Um, Action Essentials 2 for Video Copilot. I'm going to put a link because that's like the best place, best place to find them. Um, but see I was not able to find a very good one on Google so here's what I got alright so you if you got one from Google you want to make sure it's only about a frame or two long no more this one is two frames I'm gonna make it one so the flash is only there for one frame um, that's what you need to do if you have one from Google. And it's very, my background is very bright, so you can't hardly see it. But you want to move it <coughs> in place of the gun. If yours has a black background, you can change the blend mode, the blend mode to add or uh, add or screen or overlay. Those usually work. Um, but you want to try and find one that's already keyed and does not have a background. All the ones in the Action Essentials pack I was talking about are uh, are already keyed, so you don't have to worry about that. <coughs> so the next thing you want to do, uh, copy your video and paste it. Copy and paste it. Place it on top of everything. And then you change the blend mode to add. Now it's bright everywhere, it lightens it. Take your pen tool, and this is going to be the light from the muzzle flash. So you want to draw out where the muzzle flash is going to light up, like on the person shooting it, like right there will be one area. Definitely his hands would be good and his arm right here just keep going everywhere that you think where the muzzle flash would affect obviously places like the gun and the actor's face shooting it and the body and stuff and if there's a wall if I had a wall it would have been better to demonstrate this but you want to light up the wall 
you know, um, it's not going to do much on this video because the it's so bl bright out. But you can place one like on the ground. Um, that's not going to do much, you know. Even on around the actor because that it'll add more effect once you see and on the shoulder and stuff you know, just put them put them all around have a good time do that and then you need to go under the copied layer go to masks and right now they kind of look like crap it's like too bright and everything you can go to feather adjust the feather to how you want it the more the feather the less bright it'll like less you'll be able to notice it so and the ones back here and on the ground you can put the feather a lot more up on his hand that's gonna be pretty bright so you don't want to put up too much um right or is that that's the arm that's good the gun that's gonna be pretty pretty lit up and the face um, where's that? Oh yeah, that's the ground. You can't barely tell that one, but I'm gonna put the feather up a ton on that because that's, I mean, that one doesn't really even matter. On the back, put the feather up a lot more because it's gonna be a lot less noticeable and on the shoulder. Um, but there you go. As you can see, it uh, made everything brighter. You can tell a big difference. It, it makes it a ton better. It like adds, that the muzzle flash is actually there. And that's only gonna last as long as your muzzle flash, which for me is one frame. So right now, it should look pretty good. You got the muzzle flash and the brightness, but something else we're missing. All right guys, so the next step after that is that I like to add blowback to the gun, um, to a gun, you know, how the, the slide is back on a real gun uh, how it would on a real gun this airsoft gun I think the one we were shooting with this was actually a blowback gun but you can't you can't tell at all so you want to go to the point in time and it's a lot better if your actor adds recoil he did not add recoil but this is just a tutorial so um, but the slide will go back so go to your main uh, footage uh, mine's pre-comped because I had to set it up for this but yours probably will not be so you want to duplicate it or command and copy it command C command V put that over um, and you want it to last only one frame long so I'm just gonna split it real quick you could just, just cut it down I just like to do that so it'll only last one frame long. And I'm gonna turn off the glow the uh, glow effect we added for the muzzle flash, but you're gonna wanna draw a shape where uh, the slide is on the gun where it would go back. Um, on your gun you would draw, just draw, simply just draw a shape around there on the gun itself. And then all you gotta do, um, you can also turn off right here. You can also turn off the mask. That makes it a lot easier when you're actually moving the slide. So you can move it to however you want. Um, you gonna I'm actually see, and then you can pull up your mask, which I need to, cause look, there's white. Don't get the white in. I, I did not mean to do that. Alright, so then when you're actually moving it, it's a good idea to turn off your mask. Alright, rotate it. Get it to fit so it looks good. Alright, so I guess and that's alright how it is. Right now it looks pretty 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 messed up but what you want to do is this is happening really fast it's gonna get blurry so you want to go to effect blur and then a directional blur and the direction is move the blur in the direction 
you know, that it's going back. Just back that way. And you want to get this just right. All right. Now, I could have done a better job on the mask. I don't have much time, though, so I got to go kind of fast. And that's basically what you do is you get that, and it lasts only one frame. And when you play through it, it looks pretty good. It's pretty darn good. And you could add more blur if you want, I guess. Uh, just put the blur how you want it and have it work out. And here's one thing, um, you want to see if you put it on top, it kind of looks clear, but you want to make sure your slide is on top of your layer with the glow, but what we're going to do, because it's, um, it's better to actually do the slot, the sliding, the blowback before you do the light from the muzzle flash. But if you do do the light first, I usually always do the light first because I'm not sure if I'm going to do a muzzle flash yet or not. But um, you can leave it. It's however yours looks. Mine has a really bright scene, and it kind of looks transparent with the light over it. Um, but even if you play through it. It still, it still looks pretty good because it go the, it goes so fast you can't even tell. I just, but I want to make it look good. And also, even easier, is if you, when you were adding the light, you can go back and just take it off the gun. Just take the light off the gun, cause if off the top of the gun, cause if you have it everywhere else, it still looks good. That's a quick fix. Fix. You don't even have to do the levels. This will just work out, and you can have it. Um, you can have the light over on top of the, so over the layer. So you know you have the light and the blowback all working together, and it looks pretty good when you when you play through it. My mask was not very good. I was trying to go fast, but I see um, what you should do when you're masking. Get that in it so that actually goes back with it. But we need to move on. That Next thing I do after the muzzle flash is smoke. There's always going to be smoke coming out of your gun. So you can go online, uh, Video Copilot cool Action Essentials 2 also, again, has some really good smoke, you know, you can get uh, some smoke effects like puffs, or, you know, kind of like gunshot, like it would come out of a gun. Um, I'm just going to find one real quick I have on here. Uh, smoke, just drag it in, and mine, mine... I didn't have very much smoke all over on this computer, so I took a muzzle flash that I had that had smoke on it and smoke ejects out of the gun. <coughs> but it has a black background, so then again, you can use this method if you have a black background for on uh, Google. If you get a Google muzzle flash or something that has black background not working. Um, I would use overlay does not work. I would use screen. Screen looks the best. And then you want to into position. Now the only problem about removing black back backgrounds and such is that you know you got and you can barely see my muzzle flash because it's so bright out or see the smoke. But on your video, the smoke, bright or not, it'll really make a difference whether it shows up or not. Mine, you can barely see it because it's so bright behind the gun. Smoke isn't going to show up. Um, but, you know, you kind of get over here. You can see where it didn't, 
you know, take all that out when you changed it to screen. So if you go to light or effect, color, correct, color, collect, color correction, I cannot talk right now. Go to levels and just move it around and you can get that out pretty easy. Let's adjust it and mine's barely there. Move it a bit more and it's gone. I can't even see if it's there. It, it's not. It's gone. So you can put that on the end of your gun. You know, the smoke. It makes a huge difference in the gunshot. Um, so does the slide, the blowback, all this stuff. The biggest difference I'd say, like if you're trying to save time and you didn't want to do blowback or the smoke, or you just were trying to go fast, which one that's most important I think is adding the light on your actor from the muzzle flash. Alright, next step. If you want to make it even look better, you're going to want to add some shells from the gun and the best way to do this is uh, video copilot action essentials 2 again unless you can go just google youtube search shell gun shell on green screen and or something like gun shell stock footage all that but action essentials 2 has some pretty good bullet shells um, rotating they're like short clips of them rotating and you can I'll choose that that looks like a good pistol bullet but pistol shell not bullet what see I can't even think I'm just trying to get through this you know and I'm calling a shell a bullet and I was talking about the blowback you know I'm talking calling it the slide it's I'm terrible I'm sorry but put the shell into place on your gun move about a couple frames five maybe I don't know like three three or four um, actually now first you want to go back to the to where it was you want to go to transform and you want to uh, animate the position um, you can do the scale if you want yeah, position and scale. You'd you'd like to do that, but move a couple frames, three, four, five. How, however many. It depends on your where the actor is and all of that. All right. So once you move up, you're gonna want to move it off camera somewhere, off like down, because it's gonna go down, and then. And also, you're going to want to make it bigger if it's coming towards your camera. That's what I'm doing. Um, and then, also, when you're editing this, there's a hand handles on here on After Effects, and you can edit the curvature, which is really freaking awesome for doing this kind of stuff. You know, it's awesome for every everything. So the bullet is looking pretty sweet. The uh, Not bullet. See, I'm doing it again. The shell's looking pretty sweet. So you know you've got the shell popping out and everything. And you know you don't know how it looks and you want to watch it and it's just happening too fast. If the shell's popping out too fast, you know you have to everything on the shell you some seem to never get it to go out how you want it you can move these down and uh, see how it moves you want to go it's gonna go pretty fast so that's pretty good but then it comes through and gets bigger because it's coming closer to the camera and uh, we also want to go to effect blur because it's moving so fast and I think I'm gonna do a fast blur
and probably like right there that's perfect um, you can also change the blur on your slide how you can just change everything to how you want it to be alright so and you have your shell all blurred up and everything it looks looks pretty realistic falling right there because it's blurry and it's moving fast and everything else is blurry it looks like it's actually there but that's pretty much it <coughs> all you have to remember is you gotta find a good flash and the most important one of the biggest thing things in a muzzle flash is what people get wrong is the size you know, Tahoe I'm busy sit be a good dog alright you don't want to make it too big or too small you want to add the light the blowback the you want to add the muzzle flash the glow from the muzzle flash illuminate the surrounding areas and you want to add the blowback and the shell to make and the smoke to make everything look good and that's basically it I'm out <laughs>